First of all, God is good. God is in the center of everything that we have going on, so therefore we are blessed and highly favored. Let's get into it. Today I tr decided to try something new. Come out here and take a nice early bike ride and just taking some of the fresh air. A little bit of taste of freedom. I'm so accustomed to just doing my videos in my room where it's comfortable, but man, come out here and get some fresh air, get my day started, get some positivity going, some fresh oxygen that the Lord has provided us with each and every day. We are so blessed. We are truly blessed. And sometimes we get things like this bike. I want it so bad. I got it. And I was just sitting there because I feel like I have no time. But it's so much time in the day. And it's so much as long as you just make that effort. And I choose to be happy today, choose to be blessed and just get out here and ride my bike and do this video. It's something different. It's something creative. And it was put on my place on my spirit to go out here and get it. Today, I just want to uplift you and let you know, like, you can do anything you put your mind to. You have a purpose. You have a greater calling. Don't settle for that nine to five or that job that you hate going to each and every day and complain and complain week after week. The time is running out. Time is something you cannot get back. Go after what the Lord has placed on your heart, on your spirit, and just get it done. So what you don't have it all figured out? So what? You don't know how it's going to turn out. So what? You don't have the money. So what? You don't have this, that, all these other things that we overthink and think about. You got the first part, which is the Lord backing you and telling you it will be all right. It will be OK. And most of the time, these things that's placed on our spirit, we don't even know that, hey, the Lord is knocking at us, telling us this is what I want you to do. You have a bigger purpose. You have a greater calling. If I sat there and be fearful and be like, oh, I don't know how to film. Oh, oh, I don't have all the tools. I don't have this fancy camera to come on here and talk to people and try to uplift people. I don't know how to share the gospel. I don't know how to do like all these Bible. I don't memorize all the Bible verses verbatim, but I know at the end of the day, the Lord will provide. If he places it on my heart to get on here and share, uplift others, get someone through a tough time, a tough situation, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that to the best of my ability. I don't have it all. I don't know all the answers. I don't know. I'm not a perfect person. I don't just wake up and be like, oh, I'm going to be perfect today. And I'm going to tell everybody about being perfect and be go after your dreams and this or that. All I know is I'm going to try to uplift someone. And if one person is saved through hearing my message, hearing my word, I'm going to try that. And if it takes me coming outside each and every morning, first off, starting my day and sharing the gospel, riding on my bicycle that I wanted ever so bad that I feel like I don't have time for. You have the time. Get into it. Start. Someone out there needs to hear what you got to say.